What's up everyone? So for today's video, we just want to talk about um, lessons to learn from um, the popular book The Secrets of the Melodian Mind by T.R. Eka. Now, number one lesson, I just want to share a couple of lessons uh, to you, which will be obvious to you if you read that book. The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T.R. Eka. Now everybody should go read that book. Get the audio book for free on YouTube. Just search Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Av Eka on YouTube here and you will get the audio book for free. Okay, you can get the ad copy, you can get the main book from bookshop. Okay, check even in Nigeria. I think that book is available here. Yeah. So just go to bookshop and just check it out. Make sure you get that book, it's very, very important. Now, there are some lessons you are going to learn if you read that book. And I just want to highlight some of the lessons here in this video. First, before I continue, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is Gary Science, a world of um, um, creativity and outstanding values. So uh, make sure you subscribe and check our playlist. We have a lot of videos um, there for you. So the number one lesson you will learn if you read that book is um, programs, subconscious programs. And uh, hypnosis. Let me explain something again. For the first seven years of life, when you were born, you had no belief system. Okay, there was no belief system in you, and your conscious part of your brain was not developed. Only your subconscious part was developed. That is why, and subconscious part of the brain is the habit part of the brain, the habit mind. Mind is the brain at work, according to neuroscience. So the subconscious mind is the habit mind. It doesn't learn like the conscious mind. The subconscious mind learns through repetition. That is why when you went to school, since your conscious mind was not developed, they had to teach the subconscious only. Okay, and that is why um, when you were younger, you recited the ABC over and over again through repetition before you were able to know it. That is how the subconscious learns. But the good thing be behind that is the subconscious, whatsoever it learns, it tends to stick with, to it forever. And whatsoever gets into the subconscious, remains with you for a lifetime that is just the benefit and whatever gets to the subconscious can be done almost automatically that is the benefit of the subconscious mind so this is what was developed in you okay what was available in you when uh for the first seven years of your life so when you were born you had no belief system right so life programmed everybody life programmed everybody for the first seven years of life uh life gave you experience so for that first seven years of life whatsoever you whatsoever you saw for that first seven years of life whatsoever you saw whatsoever you tasted whatsoever you did formed your belief system formed the belief system you currently have right now every company have a belief every company every family have a culture every family has a culture every company has a culture culture is just how you do things how you react to things your way of life and everything all did, all these things did not just come about in your life like like they were formed okay for the first seven years of life nature created the belief systems for you so this is the reason why everyone needs to pay attention to this so the secrets of the millionaire mind tells you more about this tells you everybody was programmed that's what the secrets of the millionaire mind tells you everybody was programmed okay you are either programmed to live a good life or you are programmed to have a bad life. Then the secret of the millionaire, millionaire mind right now focuses on finance, focuses on money. Like tells you some people are programmed to have certain financial success while some are programmed to have um, no financial success at all because they subconsciously react against money. So how can you get money? Okay, so what is the test? How do you know if you have a good program um, on money? So you ask yourself right now, what are the beliefs? What are your deep down beliefs? What are the deep down beliefs you have about money? If you bring those things down to yourself and you give yourself the sincere answers, you will be able to pinpoint whether or not you have a good belief on money because take note most of the belief you have today were not consciously created by you like nature created some for you you got some of them from your parents you got some of them from your mom you got some of them from your dad that is the simple truth and if you are not careful these beliefs will create results similar to the ones of your parents for you so this is why you have to be conscious and careful about yourself about your life because you are programmed for the first seven years of life you are programmed and even currently you are still being programmed programmed okay you are still being programmed by what you see visually and uh the secret of the middle mind tells you that you are programmed through three ways visual programming uh verbal programming and specific incidences it tells you when you are growing up when you were growing up you were programmed by what you saw 
For instance, if you see and people fight before they make money, you'll be programmed that way. You will feel you have to fight before you make money. So you would be asking yourself questions on how to make money without fighting. You will simply believe you have to fight before you make money. Since you believe it, only thoughts of how to fight to make money will come to you. That's what the season of Lunar Mind tells you. Okay, if you have to fight, that's visual programming. The verbal program means what you heard. So if you, when you were young, if you hear people rant this and that, rant a rave before they make money, fight here and there before they make money, you will be programmed that way. And you will believe you have to hear those things first before you can make money. Two, that's the, the third one is specific incidences. Tells you what exact thing did you really encounter when you were growing up. For instance, did you invest your money, your first money, and you lost everything? You felt so bad about it, and your brain created a memory of that thing for you, stores it in your head. That is being that is specific incidents there. So um you, you can be programmed through specific incidents. How? So if you invested your first money and lost everything, you may not want to invest ever again. Okay, you may not ever want to invest again. That is being programmed through specific incidents. So, and uh, these things can really, 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 really create automated reaction for you without you being aware of them. So, uh, psychology tells you that you are 95% running on your subconscious, meaning you are not even aware of what you do. When you run your subconscious, you are not aware of it. You are not aware of, you are not aware of what you do. Whenever the conscious mind is away, the subconscious sticks in, kicks in. Okay, start doing the work that the conscious mind was supposed to be doing. So, the subconscious is there to even assist the conscious mind. But what if you have wrong things installed in the subconscious? You are definitely going to be, you are definitely going to be automatically um, 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 manifesting dumb results, bad results, bad things. A popular preacher, Bob Proctor, always, always, always was a believer of this science. He taught this until he died. So very, very cool. So check out that book. It's very, very important. You are being programmed. That is a simple freaking truth. You somehow look like a parent somehow. Apples don't fall far from the tree, except you subconsciously create the limits. Okay, that is just it. Some people believe if they make money and they may they may hurt their parents because this and that. This sub this things are subconscious. If you read the book, you will be able to play the game. You will be able to deal with the inner game of money. So I advise you check that check out that book, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Hecker. Stay away. Goodbye.